New at 5, a star of the History Channel show Swamp People died in a crash yesterday in Iberville Parish. We got word that um, one of our cast members, Mitchell Geist, had passed away. When it comes to dealing with alligators, most folks would rather run the other way. However, for a fearless man like Troy Landry, it's a completely different story. Troy has gained stardom in recent years through his appearances on the reality TV show Swamp People, which airs on the History Channel. Fans were puzzled when he was missing from earlier seasons, but now he's back, much to their delight. Let's take a look at why Troy took a break and catch up on what happened to some other cast members who aren't on the show anymore. The Thrilling Journey of Troy Landry Troy Landry, hailing from Pierre Part, Louisiana, USA, was born on June 9, 1961. While many recognize him from his appearances on the television series Swamp People, which debuted in 2010, Troy's expertise in alligator hunting extends far beyond the show's inception, spanning over 25 years. Growing up with his parents, Duffy and Myrtle Landry, and his brother Bubba Landry, Troy's family engaged in diverse occupations, from hunting crocodiles to shrimping, trapping, and even selling moss. Yet it was the tradition of alligator hunting that defined their legacy. Passed down through generations, Troy embraced this tradition from a young age, embodying the essence of his family's heritage. Troy also diversified his income by venturing into the harvesting and selling of crawfish, contributing significantly to his earnings. Impressively, he manages to gather an astounding five to six million pounds of crawfish annually. However, it's his prowess as an alligator hunter that truly distinguishes him. Through years of dedication and expertise, he has rightfully earned the title King of the Swamp for his unparalleled success in capturing these formidable reptiles. Troy's extensive knowledge and skill set enables him to navigate both the east and west zones of the Atchafalaya Swamp with remarkable efficiency, extending his alligator hunting season from 30 to 60 days. In 2010, Troy Landry and his family, along with fellow alligator hunting clans, were selected to star in the History Channel's captivating series, Swamp People. This groundbreaking show provided viewers with an intimate glimpse into the thrilling adventures unfolding during Louisiana's alligator hunting season in the rugged swamps. As Swamp People became more popular, Troy became one of its biggest stars, appearing in over 107 episodes, the most of anyone in the cast. His role on the show not only made him well-known to everyone, but also made him a lot richer, establishing him as an iconic figure in the world of alligator hunting. Troy Landry's personal life is just as intriguing as his adventures in the swamp. Since marrying Bernita Landry on September 26, 1981, Troy has been a loving and devoted husband. Together, they've enjoyed the joys of raising two sons. Troy embraced his role as a stepfather to Brandon. Brandon became an integral part of their close-knit family, blending in seamlessly. Bernita Landry, Troy's wife, has also had a significant impact. After graduating from Patterson High School, Bernita worked as a bank teller at Patterson State Bank from 1975 to 1980. Later, driven by her love for education, she became a school teacher, inspiring many young minds. The Landry family lives in a cozy wooden house, reflecting their strong work ethic and steadfast commitment to their values. What happened to Troy Landry? On November 19, 2021, Jacob Landry shared concerning news about his father, Troy Landry, on social media. He revealed that Troy was scheduled for back surgery on November 21, 2021. Jacob explained that Troy had been dealing with significant discomfort due to his back issues. An MRI revealed a cyst pressing on a nerve, worsening Troy's pain. Additionally, Troy had been coping with a bulging disc in his spine for some time, which had worsened gradually. Troy's struggle with a bulging disc had become unbearable, prompting his doctor to recommend surgery as the best option to relieve his symptoms. But what exactly is a bulging disc, and why is surgery necessary? A bulging disc occurs when the discs between the vertebrae protrude or bulge due to pressure. This condition can cause severe pain and discomfort, along with other troubling symptoms. In severe cases, it can lead to a herniated disc, which poses a risk of nerve irritation, numbness, and in extreme cases, paralysis if the bulging disc causes permanent nerve damage. While disc bulging typically affects older individuals, it can also occur in younger people, with cases reported in individuals as young as 30 years old. 
Troy Landry's decision to undergo surgery was a crucial step in addressing his persistent back issues and finding relief from chronic pain and discomfort. On November 24, 2021, Troy Landry updated his followers on Facebook and providing a health update post-surgery. He shared, I want to thank everyone for the prayers for a successful back surgery. Had a cyst growing around a nerve, everything went well, and I'm back home taking it easy for a couple of weeks. I should be ready to go for the next Gator season. However, Troy's health journey didn't end there. In 2022, rumors emerged regarding Troy Landry facing another health battle, prostate cancer. While there have been reports of him undergoing treatment for this condition, the show Swamp People has not officially addressed his health status or any potential leave of absence. Troy Landry initially disclosed his prostate cancer diagnosis through a heartfelt message to his admirers. In the following months, Troy's remarkable recovery journey became evident, bringing relief to his fans. His son Jacob shared a heartfelt video on Facebook, showing Troy's improved condition and hinting at his excitement for the upcoming season. This update from Jacob brought comfort to Troy's supporters. Recently, Jacob provided more insight into his father's recovery, revealing promising lab results. According to Jacob, the medical team believes they have successfully eliminated all traces of cancer, marking a significant milestone in Troy's quest for better health. With approval from his doctors and a determined attitude, Troy Landry eagerly announced his return to gator hunting for another season of Swamp People on History TV in August 2022. In a humorous post on Facebook, Troy addressed rumors about his health by jokingly asking his son to return his boat. The update shared by Jacob about Troy's recovery brought immense relief and joy to his loyal fan base. Fans expressed their gratitude and well wishes. The message was filled with optimism and encouragement, expressing his belief that Troy would overcome this challenge and emerge even stronger. Troy Landry's Internet Popularity and Net Worth In today's digital age, Troy Landry has adeptly leveraged the power of the Internet to connect with his fans and share his latest endeavors. He maintains a strong presence across various social media platforms, with a significant following on Twitter and Instagram, who eagerly await updates on his adventures. Similarly, his Instagram profile showcases captivating content that has attracted over 48,000 dedicated followers, providing them with a peek into his thrilling world of alligator hunting and outdoor adventures. Troy Landry's financial achievements are equally noteworthy. With a career spanning decades and thrusting him into the limelight, many have speculated about his net worth. According to reliable sources, Troy Landry's estimated net worth stands at an impressive $2 million. This substantial wealth is a testament to his years of hard work dedication, and expertise in the realm of alligator hunting. Furthermore, Troy's involvement in the reality TV series Swamp People has significantly bolstered his financial standing. His appearances on the show come with a generous paycheck, reportedly earning him approximately $25,000 per episode. It's worth noting that Troy's sons, Jacob and Chase, have also joined him in the world of gator hunting and have been featured in the show. Their involvement adds another layer of intrigue to the Landry family's adventures and showcases their collective expertise in this unique profession. Jacob Landry Jacob Landry, born on December 27, 1983 in Pierre Part, Louisiana, has emerged as a notable figure in the realm of alligator hunting. He has made a significant impact on the popular television series Swamp People, appearing in over 50 episodes. His extensive participation in the show has garnered him a substantial fan base, with viewers admiring his expertise, charm, and commitment to the family tradition of alligator hunting. Of particular interest is Jacob's recent promotion to the role of captain aboard the Landry family's second ship. This shift within the family's alligator hunting enterprise symbolizes the passing of responsibilities to the younger generation, poised to carry forward the legacy established by their parents. Beyond his involvement in alligator hunting, Jacob Landry has explored various interests, including filmmaking. He served as an assistant director on the horror drama film titled Paranormal Extremes, Text Messages from the Dead. Regarding finances, Jacob Landry has amassed a substantial net worth estimated at around $650,000. This significant wealth reflects his contributions to the family business and his successful endeavors in the entertainment industry. 
Jacob is not only a dedicated alligator hunter and filmmaker, but also a devoted family man. He shares a blissful marriage with Lindsay, and together, they have been blessed with two children. Chase Landry. Chase Landry, born on April 25, 1989 in Pierre Part, Louisiana, is deeply entrenched in the world of alligator hunting. As the younger brother of the Landry duo, Chase has fully embraced the family tradition with unwavering commitment. His involvement in the family's alligator hunting business and the TV series Swamp People has solidified his position as a vital part of the family legacy. With over 50 appearances on the show, Chase consistently demonstrates his skills and expertise in alligator hunting. Unlike his brother Jacob, Chase has chosen to focus solely on his career as an alligator hunter, emphasizing his dedication to the family trade. While he's known for his prowess in the swamp, Chase also treasures his personal life. He is happily married and enjoys being a father to one child. However, he prefers to keep his wife out of the public eye. In terms of finances, Chase has accumulated a net worth estimated at approximately $220,000. This financial success reflects his hard work and steadfast dedication to the demanding world of alligator hunting. Brandon's Sudden Disappearance in 2016, Troy received distressing news, not about Jacob or Chase, but about his stepson, Brandon. Although Brandon wasn't on Swamp People, he held a significant place in Troy's heart. Brandon had been in a car accident on his way home from an event. The car veered off the road, causing Brandon to be thrown out and suffer a broken neck and collapsed lung. It was a devastating shock for Troy, facing his worst fear of losing a loved one in an unexpected tragedy. Fans were understandably kept in suspense as Troy withdrew from the public eye to tend to his family during this tumultuous time. Speculations swirled, and with the discovery of an obituary for Brandon Landry, it seemed as though tragedy had struck the Landry family. However, the murky waters of the swamp held a surprising twist. Reports surfaced revealing that Brandon Landry was indeed alive. The confusion arose from there being two individuals with the same name, leading to the mistaken publication of Brandon's obituary. In reality, Troy's stepson had miraculously survived the harrowing accident, though he faced a long road to recovery with severe injuries. Troy devoted himself to Brandon's care, stepping away from the spotlight to prioritize his family's well-being. Despite the challenges, Brandon began to show signs of improvement after enduring years of rigorous medical treatments and rehabilitation cast members who are no longer on the show. While we're grateful that Troy Landry continues to be a presence in our lives, Swamp People has unfortunately mourned the loss of several cast members over the years. These losses have profoundly impacted both the show's community and its fans, leaving behind a palpable void and prompting an outpouring of grief for these beloved personalities. In 2011, Mitchell and Glenn became a formidable duo on the popular reality show Swamp People. Their debut on the series quickly catapulted them to fame, winning over audiences and establishing a loyal fan base. Throughout the series, the brothers showcased their resourcefulness and determination in hunting for their meals. They pursued a variety of species, revealing the rich wildlife diversity in the swamp ecosystem. Their targets ranged from the formidable alligator gar to the elusive blue catfish, each presenting its own unique challenges. In addition to pursuing larger prey, Mitchell and Glenn also engaged in capturing crayfish, cottontail rabbits, squirrels, bullfrogs. Their adventures took an unexpected turn when they unintentionally caught an American alligator, adding an element of surprise to their endeavors. Their success on the show led to their continued participation in the 2012 third season of Swamp People. On May 14, 2012, fans of Swamp People were devastated by tragic news. Mitchell Gist, a beloved star of the show, was involved in a fatal accident on the Bell River near Pierre Part, Louisiana, leaving fans in shock and grief. The circumstances surrounding his sudden death raised questions and speculation, leading to speculation about its role in the tragic incident. Investigations and medical examinations aimed to uncover the truth behind his untimely passing, shedding light on whether the seizure was related to an undisclosed medical condition or directly linked to the fall. Subsequent investigations revealed that Mitchell Gist had suffered a heart attack, ultimately leading to his tragic passing. This revelation offered a clearer understanding of the events that unfolded on that fateful day. Despite efforts to provide medical assistance, his condition could not be stabilized, 
and he was pronounced deceased at a hospital in Morgan City. His untimely death, occurring just four days before his 48th birthday, deepened the grief felt by fans and loved ones alike. Mitchell Gust was laid to rest at the Lusk Cemetery in Gonzales, Louisiana. In a heartfelt tribute to his memory, the Voodoo Bayou episode of Swamp People, originally aired on May 17, 2012, was dedicated to him. Mitchell Gist's legacy lives on through his contributions to reality television and the lasting impact he had on his fellow cast members and the dedicated followers of Swamp People. J. Paul Molinare and R.J. Molinare Jr. While Troy and Chase Landry stand out as the most renowned father-son duo on the show, it's worth acknowledging the dynamic duo of R.J. and J. Paul Molinari. R.J.'s expertise lies in trapping and wrestling gators, while J. Paul prefers to shoot them, as described by Troy. Their spirited approach not only earned them trophies, but also landed them in some legal trouble along the way. The details surrounding the altercation that led to their arrest remain somewhat murky, as communication isn't exactly their strong suit. J. Paul boasts serious talent in the world of MMA fighting, while RJ is a formidable arm wrestler with four-time world champion accolades. However, on a particular evening in 2013, their skills allegedly extended beyond the confines of the ring. It's evident that RJ and J. Paul don't merely play to the cameras. While it's uncertain whether alcohol was involved, they were certainly in each other's company, driving around on that eventful night. Following a road rage incident, Tensions flared, leading to an alleged confrontation with a 24-year-old individual. According to reports, the dispute escalated at a mini-mart, where the individual claimed he was brutally assaulted with a beer bottle by the Molinari brothers. Consequently, they were arrested and faced charges of assault and battery. However, both RJ and J. Paul vehemently asserted their innocence, contending that they were the victims of a mutual disagreement. So, who holds the truth in this contentious situation? Ultimately, the judgment lies in the hands of those deliberating the case. Randy Edwards The sudden and tragic passing of Randy Edwards on September 15, 2018, at the young age of 35, left a profound impact on the Swamp People community and those who knew him personally. Randy lost his life in a devastating car crash that occurred in Iberville Parish, Louisiana. This unfortunate accident not only cut short a life brimming with potential, but also created a void in the lives of his loved ones and the close-knit community of alligator hunters and outdoor enthusiasts. Randy Edwards wasn't just a participant in Swamp People. He was also a relative of another cast member, Willie Edwards, which further strengthened his connection to the series and the unique subculture it portrayed. Like his cousin Willie, Randy was renowned for his exceptional skills as an alligator hunter. This profession demands not only courage, but also an intimate understanding of the swamp's ecosystem and the behavior of its formidable reptiles. Beyond his hunting abilities, Randy Edwards was known for his profound love of the outdoors. His passion for the swampy wilderness and the challenges it presented was evident to anyone who watched him on the show. He embodied the spirit of a true outdoorsman, demonstrating a deep respect for nature and a steadfast dedication to preserving the traditions of swamp life. Roger Rivers. With a name like Roger Rivers, it seems almost destined for someone to become a swamp hunter. However, Roger had more than just hunting on his agenda, as he found himself entangled in a variety of legal issues, ranging from scamming to drug offenses and even some rather bizarre charges. Roger made a brief appearance on four episodes of Swamp People during Season 5, where he made his mark attempting daring stunts, including the unconventional act of killing an alligator by hand with just a knife. It was certainly a memorable way to grab some screen time, to say the least. Beyond his daredevil antics, Roger claimed to hunt to provide for his family. However, in 2017, he found himself in hot water for treating the swamp as his own personal supermarket. It was discovered that Roger was running an illegal business, selling swamp meat that included fish, deer, turtle, and various reptiles. But Roger's legal woes didn't end there. In 2022, he faced further trouble when allegations surfaced that despite running a construction contracting company, he accepted a significant sum of money for a job that he never completed. The severity of the claims led to Roger being charged, booked and jailed on fraud charges, highlighting the gravity of the situation. Joe LaFont, a.k.a. Trapper. Joe, Joe LaFont, 
better known to Swamp People fans as Trapper Joe, was a prominent figure in the show's early seasons, featuring prominently in 54 episodes alongside his stepson, Trigger Tommy. However, Joe's absence from the show since 2016 is not without reason. In a disturbing incident at a Florida hotel, Joe and his girlfriend became embroiled in a heated argument that escalated dramatically. Allegations surfaced that Joe had physically assaulted his girlfriend. Witnesses to the altercation promptly alerted the authorities, leading to Joe's arrest. Despite this, his girlfriend opted not to press charges, insisting that the incident was a misunderstanding. Unfortunately, this wasn't the first time Joe found himself in legal trouble. Prior to this incident, he had faced charges of domestic violence in both 2013 and 2015. These incidents were far more severe, with allegations suggesting that he had caused significant harm to his girlfriend. Such recurring patterns make it difficult to dismiss these incidents as mere misunderstandings. Nicholas Payne Payne's appearance on Swamp People was indeed brief, serving as Bruce Mitchell's apprentice in season two. However, his time on the show was cut short due to his involvement in criminal activities. In September 2011, police responded to a noise complaint at Nicholas's residence. Instead of cooperating with law enforcement, he opted for a risky course of action, attacking the officer and attempting to flee into the woods. Unsurprisingly, this decision proved futile, and Nicholas was swiftly apprehended, leading to his arrest and subsequent charges. This incident wasn't Nicholas's first brush with the law. In 2010, he had previously spent a year on probation for a similar offense. Following his departure from Swamp People, Nicholas's whereabouts have become uncertain. However, it appears that he has managed to evade further entanglements with the law in the years since. While Nicholas may not have been a prominent figure on Swamp People, his actions pale in comparison to another cast member who ended up committing a far more serious offense than fighting a police officer. Tyler the Swamp Dog While not a human cast member, Tyler, affectionately known as the Swamp Dog, held a cherished and heartwarming role on Swamp People. This faithful hound was the beloved companion of Bruce Mitchell, an iconic figure on the show. Tyler's unwavering loyalty and deep bond with Bruce endeared him to viewers, elevating him to the status of a beloved character in his own right. Tragically, Tyler passed away in 2014 from congestive heart failure at the age of 13. His departure left a palpable void for fans who had grown attached to the charismatic canine and the special relationship he shared with Bruce.